could we buy cat power? I had a capo on the uh, six spread because it's kind of like too high for me. This thing in the normal key, but I'm gonna show it to you in the the, the recording key. I'm playing it the same. Uh, D. beginner song. Um, I'm going to show you a few different ways to play it. Okay, so uh, you just play straight D to G. That's the first way. Um, what I just did there and the last time I played it was uh, I did a D and then I did uh, this G where you play the high E string and the B string at the third fret. So I'm just playing the, the, uh, the higher strings, the strings four through one. So that's the, you know, you just play open position and strum it and play it. Um, here's another way you could kind of... You know, they have uh, at least two guitars on the recording. And when I saw her do it live, I think there might have been three guitars, including her. I just saw it on video. I didn't see a live performance. So. so, like, they didn't, like, close up on the guitar players. So, I, I just know generally from ear how to play it. So, what we're doing is, um, at the seventh fret, we're barring strings of four, three, and two. What that is, is a, it's an A-shaped chord. Uh, in the open position, but when you move it up to the seventh fret, it's a D. And then um, I'm just playing open for the G. So that's just uh, open strings four, three, and two. Good slide into it. the A minor at the fifth fret because you have a A chord there. So if you just bar the top three strings on your fifth fret, that's an A minor. And then I went to the eighth fret. You have a C chord there. Um, and I just hit the, the B, high B and E strings for the C. I think it sounds fine with just those two strings. My guest. Okay, um, then at the 10th fret, we have a D chord. And then on, on the fifth string root, we have a G chord. So those are our two, uh, chords we're using so we can um, do something there this would be more what they're kind of like playing around with on the recording Right, 
and then I just went to the uh, A minor to C that I showed you before. Uh, so what I'm doing there is I'm just playing the uh, B and E string uh, on the 10th fret. I'm sliding into it. That's your uh, D chord. That's your what you're substituting for the D chord. And then I'm going to the 12th fret, and I'm getting I'm doing another A shape. Uh, at the 12th fret, it's G. Just like we have open G, so everything repeats at the 12th fret, and that we're getting the G one octave higher. Okay, so uh, that's how I play Cat Power's song, uh, Could We? I really like that song. It's one of her happier ones. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.